there was an explosion, I guess, on New Smyrna Beach in Florida um, that you're only going to see talked about on TikTok. You know, the one app that everybody's trying to ban. The government specifically is trying to ban it. Um, so here it is. What the heck? Yeah, I saw this. Yeah, that's massive. That yeah. is massive. That's miles <laughs> wow. away. Yeah. You know, you try to find something about it, and nobody's really offering anything. Right here, uh, this is uh, Times Now News. Um, explosion in New Smyrna Beach. Videos of mushroom smoke cloud surface. Social media users posted visual visuals of a large fire and smoke cloud in New Smyrna Beach. <laughs> Mm. Some of them are massive explosion too. Authorities have not issued a formal statement about the situation yet. We are told that only a controlled burn is being conducted in the area. There's no reason to panic. <laughs> yeah, that's not a controlled burn. It looks like a mushroom, yeah. which means that's an explosion. And the, literally, then it just says, you know, some. I mean, it just talks about what people are seeing. That's it. And then that's it. That's literally it. You scroll down, and that's it. Just literally one, two paragraphs. And it's like okay so we'll go to the next website um this is msn there we go this is msn it says a massive explosion has been reported at new smyrna beach yada yada um anyone know what happened in new smyrna beach florida and that's it you you scroll down and um this is all they tell you right here so that's that's literally it so nobody knows anything about anything about this mushroom cloud so it's kind of like what you were talking about with the um you know pacific rim job stuff or was it rusty trombone no it seems like godzilla plus one yeah and the only thing you're finding anywhere about this is on tiktok i mean everybody else is trying to it's almost it, it gives me it's giving it's giving false flag palestine palestinian uh ohio uh train derailment vibes when mm -hmm. that happened and the social media of america tried to hush it as much as they could but because there was hundreds of thousands of videos surfacing on tiktok alone it forced the american social media's people to send their little hazmat suit friends over there and uh basically uh um discount everything all the evidence of all the people dying the fish dying the oil filled uh, rain clouds and smoke that not just uh um literally covered ohio not just palestine in ohio but ohio itself and then the surrounding states they like there was barely any sunlight getting through because of massive thick cloud but the only media you could find it on was tiktok and again it's no wonder why america is trying to get rid of tiktok because they're well they're trying to buy tiktok so it could be one of their little cnn channels Anyway, but yeah, it cost America probably billions of dollars in hazmat. They had to, then they sent hazmat there again. Say, all right, we're going to have a second look. So they have, and then they just discount it all again. They're like, yeah, okay, some deaths. We're seeing some deaths, we're seeing some, uh, you know, um, chemicals in the rain, some, but it's not at levels that's too harmful. And again, meanwhile, you look at TikTok and there's thousands of videos surfacing of all the deaths, actual deaths being reported by the police in Ohio. Yeah, anyway, that's what this whole Pacific Rim thing is giving. It's it's giving... False flag. Real flag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think it just fits in with the whole narrative that any time they... I think it's just going to come on more and more. Give the public unregulated things. Just like what you're talking about with TikTok. TikTok's unregulated, and so now they're using it under the guise of national security. But this is really just a fundamental, and it's supposed to be unregulated, right? It's free speech. Free speech is unregulated speech. And so they're going to come out with, an, and I think they already basically did with the TikTok ban bill, which Biden already signed. And it was funny. He went up there and he said, yep, and I'm glad to have uh, signed this bill, which gives all the financial aid to Taiwan and Ukraine and Israel. And that's it. And he closes the book and walks away. Literally 10 seconds. And then you can just hear all the news people, what about TikTok? Hey, 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 hey. And he just walks away like a Roomba. And he doesn't say anything. And so he already knows. That's what it is, but they're using it under the guise 
We try to give you guys unregulated speech. And, you know, and, and it's such gaslighting on the China. And, you know, we don't mind unregulated speech, but we got to make sure that the Chinese don't use it improperly. They could take the ability to have unregulated speech and manipulate it for propaganda. So just in case, we need to take one layer of your unregulated speech and put you back into the matrix of regulated speech platforms like all that exists right now. And so this is just a continuation of here's on regulation. We're going to be free in America. We're going to colleague can actually do a good eagle. <laughs> and here's America for you. And then they're going to put out a false flag. And then they're going to say we can't and we're going to have to regulate it for your safety. 